but we're coming down past Rocklands into the Glover Park area where there's just been a shooting just a few blocks south of Rocklands. Uh, a party just uh, got a little out of control. Shots fired. Nobody's been hit as far as we can tell, but uh, police are on the scene looking for the bad guy. Shell casings have been found. Secret Service came out too. We got hit, as far as I can tell. Oh wow! You see those blinking things on the road? Oh, oh, those are the bullets, right? Those are the shell casings, yeah. Oh, the blinking things. He said the blinking things on the road, the shell cases. Hey guys, good morning on a beautiful Monday. Though it feels like Sunday, it's Columbus Day slash Indigenous Peoples Day. I lose track of these sort of things. I don't even know what day it is half the time. Anyway, we are at the White House. We've got a helicopter coming in and he's already an hour late. I just got here so I, I knew it was coming. I knew he was going to be late, but uh, we'll set up to see that. Then maybe we'll just go for a little bike ride around the city on this holiday and take a look. Uh, what's new around the monuments, what the tourists are up to, and eh, what's at the White House? Who knows? First, hot dog. Hot dog mans are all over the places. Let's go get a hot dog.
Yeah, I'm on the press page. guys we are on a scooter Woo! so that was marine one landing and nighthawk one taking off just barely saw them the stupid trees are getting kind of low and leafy should have got to the other side eh, we'll try again later this week as for now let's uh let's go explore yeah let's go make our way up to the white house grounds they've declared a lid which means he's not going to go out and walk the dog or anything like that uh, or go to restaurant or church so we're up on Pennsylvania Avenue. Let's spin over here. And we got a vehicle coming. Try not to get hit by the Suburbans on their way out. It is a Monday, though it really does feel like a Sunday. Just one of those days where everybody's kind of laid back not doing anything who's protesting the Uyghurs I think wow look at these trees they're really yellow now yeah, remember that just a couple days ago they were starting to turn yellow and now we had a frost warning in some parts of DC yesterday no marine at the gate so I guess that means no uh, no Biden in the Oval Office he must have bailed out already the truth conductor come on let me play so who's this Uyghurs yeah Believe it or not, there's still a copyright on Happy Birthday to You, which is what he's playing right now. Which means I'll probably have to edit out that little bit of music. All right, let's swing down. Boy, that's a big old tour group. It's like everybody from the whole high school has come or something. Let's go down the street again. Hmm, what can we get? I'd like a hamburger somewhere. All right, let's go up into Lafayette Park, try to find some food somewhere. So this used to be the home of Secretary of State Seward, as in Seward's Folly. Uh, he was Lincoln's Secretary of State, and that's the Taylor House next to it. That's where uh, Francis Scott Key's son was murdered by Congress Congressman Sickles right out in front of this house. And then the next and last house is Dolly Madison's place which is where that was also the headquarters of NASA. This yellow house up here is now part of St. John's uh, Church, but it's actually originally the Ashburton House, Lord Ashburton's house. And this was the British legation. This is where basically the British embassy. 
uh, back into like the early 1800s. The Ashburton-Webster Treaty is the treaty that settled the borders between the U.S. and Canada. I think it was after the War of 1812. So sometimes after that's where they had the Webster-Ashburton Treaty. And this is where Lord Ashburton lived. It's now the parish house for St. John's Church. So that is the Stephen Decatur house, Commodore Decatur's house, until his death due to a duel. <laughs> now it is the White House Historical Society's uh, headquarters. And down here is, what other buildings do we have? 740, no, that's not the one I want. 734, 736. This red brick house here, 736 Jackson Place, that was Teddy Roosevelt's White House for a couple months. When the White House was being renovated, Roosevelt moved into 736 Jackson Place, and then he went off to Oyster Bay, which is his summer house. So technically, that was the White House for a while. And then this yellow one, this is the presidential townhouse reserved for former presidents. They can come and stay there if they ever visit Washington, D.C. I don't think many have done so. I think Ford did, but I haven't heard of any of the other guys. This is Trowbridge House down here at the end, and it's also the Carnegie Endowment for International Peace, but Trowbridge House. I think that's also connected in behind to the townhouse, and the presidents can stay in Trowbridge as well if they so desired. This is Blair House, the official guest residence of the United States. So when people visit the president, this is where they stay, foreign heads of state. They even put their flag up on the uh, property when they stay there. I don't know what its diplomatic status is, if it's technically like embassy or if it's just like a guest house. Hmm, I should look that up one day. All right, what do we got going on down there? So yesterday I had a hamburger that was awful. So I'm kind of thinking today I need to have a good hamburger to, to destroy the memory of the bad hamburger. Diet Coke, please? Diet? Yeah, and go oh, ketchup's here. Yeah. Yeah. So I said I was going to get a hamburger, didn't I? Well, I got a hamburger yeah, anytime. Okay, I cheated. Yeah, I'm not supposed to get a hamburger, but, well, the fish and chips look really good. And I haven't had fish and chips in a while, and I can get a hamburger anywhere. So, something different. Let's go uh, walk down this way. We grabbed a bike. Yeah, it's just easier sometimes. Put a little more distance. Quicker, faster. So that's the... Uh, that's actually the only Federal Reserve building that currently has people in it down here. The other two Federal Reserve buildings are under renovation, and the rest of the Fed has moved downtown to 18th and K. This is where they have the baseball sculpture. There's this modern art baseball statue here in the middle of this park for really, like, no reason that I can understand. But it's kind of funky. So there is the Federal Reserve headquarters currently empty as they have a massive renovation. This whole area here, the atrium, is going to be covered by glass, uh, but uh, the rest of the building is going to basically be gutted, add a whole bunch of new office space, and then we'll have a new Federal Reserve headquarters. But I think it's going to take a couple years. And we're stuck. Ah, blast. Oh wow, they're putting up a new fence, it looks like. So they got these big wooden 4x4s. Looks like they're going to replace the, uh, the chain link fence with something a lot bigger. They got air conditioning units going in there. This is going to be a pretty massive project. And I don't think we're going to get to see it. I think they're going to get rid of this, this temporary fence and put up something really hard professional. Anyway, we'll keep coming by here. I know you guys want to see what's going on. Now, the other Federal Reserve building is also getting a renovation. Here it is. Renovation and expansion project. Balfour Beatty Gilbane joint venture. But I think this one isn't going to have any, like, new construction. They're just going to renovate. Renovate on the inside. Not really add any extra office space. The other one's going to add actual office space. So they've got lasers projecting onto the side of the Russian embassy. Uh, Ukrainian slogans. 
anti-Russia slogans. The service is expanding their presence. So that was Columbus Day in Washington, D.C. Pretty quiet, pretty mellow. A uh, little bit of protest. That's why the video is delayed tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll take you around the city before the weather gets cold. We'll go visit some cool things. Uh, who knows what we'll show you, but subscribe and you'll find out. All right, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.